In this video, we will explain how to get around in our books. You will learn the different ways to turn pages in our books, how to go to a different book, chapter, and verse in a Bible or a commentary, and how to use the basic navigation features that are built into our other books. To start off this video, I'm going to show you how to get around in our Bibles and in our commentaries. To go to a different book in a Bible, or to a different chapter or a verse in a Bible, there are four different ways to do that. Number one, the navigation window. This window is also known as the Bible book names window. And after I show you how to use it, you will understand why they call it the Bible book name window. When you click on this little black arrow, you get a drop down menu. And the first thing you see in the drop down menu is a list of the 66 books of the Bible. To go to verse John 3.16, click on John, and you will be shown the number of chapters in the book of John so that you can select which chapter you want to go to. When you click on chapter 3, you will be shown the number of verses that are in chapter 3 so that you can go to that verse. When you click on 16, you will be taken to John 3.16, and that is one way to get around in a Bible. To get around in our commentaries, you can also use the navigation window feature. In my next example, I'm going to use the Holman Christian Standard New Testament commentary and go to Matthew chapter 5 verse 3. The navigation window is also flexible. Instead of using your mouse pointer to select your book chapter and verse, you can manually type in the Bible book name and the chapter and the verse. You can also use internationally accepted abbreviations for the Bible books. And you can just type in a Bible book name and then hit the enter key and that will take you to the first chapter of that Bible book. The second way to get around in our books is to use the Table of Contents window. To open the Table of Contents window, you have to click on this icon here in the Book Windows icon toolbar. Once the Table of Contents window is open, Use your mouse pointer to open the folders and scroll up and down the window until you find the book, chapter, and verse you are looking for. When you find it, click on it, and your Bible will open to that location. You can also do the same in a commentary. In my next example, I'm going to open the Christian, the Holman Christian Standard Old Testament commentary and go to Genesis 3.6. The third way to get around in our books is by clicking on the next chapter and the previous chapter icons located here. These icons advance your book forward one chapter at a time or backwards one chapter at a time. The fourth and final way to get around in our books is to simply push the wheel on your mouse forwards or backwards or if you have a laptop you would slide your finger up and down on the trackpad or use some sort of a gesture on your trackpad. To get around in our other books that do not have a navigation window, you can use the following features. You can use the table of contents window. You can use the next entry or previous entry icons or you can use the entry name navigation box which is just a fancy name for a box where you type in a word to help you go to that page. In this example I'm going to open up a book called The Holman Treasury of Key Bible Words. Since this book does not have a navigation window 
you have to use its entry name navigation box. So I can either click on this drop down arrow and select a word from the list or I can click inside the entry name navigation window and type in a word myself. You can also open the table of contents window and click inside the filter field located here then just type type in the word you're looking for. If the word appears anywhere in the table of contents window it will be exposed and all you have to do is just click on it and the book will open to that word. Other books that use this same entry name box are dictionaries and encyclopedias. In this example I will open the Holman Bible Dictionary. It has an entry name window located here. I'll type in the word salvation. When I hit the enter key I am taken to the page on salvation. And in my final example I'll open up the book called Easton's Illustrated Dictionary. It also uses the entry name window. I'll type in the word prayer and voila. You can also open the table of contents window and click inside the filter field located here then just type in the word you're looking for. And there are several different ways to get around in our different books.